Just want to also thank Thomas because uh, the original concept for the talk was his idea. Um, the talk that he um, first drafted, he's using the software that he wrote as well. So um, there's, there's a lot to be said for Thomas's input into this, this presentation. Um, we're going to look at these three things. Um, what, what, what root injection is, what it can do for you, and then how it can be tied into flow spec as well, uh, starting with the uh, concept itself of what root, root injection is. So if this is your network, um, a bunch of routers all uh, peering BGP with each other, um, if you then use a, a, a different server to inject alt additional routes into that mesh, then it's doing BGP injection. Uh, why might you want to do that? Well, you might have some Anycast services, so um, DNS that you um, that you, you you put your DNS next to where your users are on your network. You can use um, root injection to do that. Uh, you can suspend people's services by um, not letting their prefixes go to their kit anymore. Um, you might have a compliance reason. You might have to proxy certain traffic. You can cause the traffic to flow through the proxy using uh, BGP root injection. Uh, you might want to use it for a service migration as well. So if, if you're moving between sites, then you might find that um, it's a flexible way for you to alter next hops and, and fiddle with your network that way. Uh, additionally, there's um, security and flow spec reasons why you might want to do this, which we'll talk about in great detail shortly. Uh, the particular root injector that I'll talk about was, was written by Thomas at Exa. Um, we'll look at that in a little bit more detail. It's, it's got a very simple Juniper-like configuration, so if you use Juniper routers right now, you already know enough to use the software. Uh, it can inject prefixes with uh, your own arbitrary communities, next hops, and, and local preferences, so that uh, if you're familiar with the BGP toolset, you'll be very familiar with that software. Um, and you can use, um, you can set up IBGP or eBGP peering, so you can um, make the routes that you inject look like they're coming from the outside or on your network. Um, this is an example of the configuration. It, it does look quite a lot like a Juniper BGP peer, but you can see there's this static block inside it as well where uh, to, to that particular router, we're injecting that slash 24 with a particular next hop and a particular community. There are more examples if you go to that bgp.exa.org.uk page, which, um, which will show you some of the uh, really cool stuff you can do with it and, and some real life examples. Um, some notes on the software. You, the, the diagram at the beginning was a, a, a full mesh peering, but you don't actually need to. You can just inject routes to parts of your network or let parts of your network redistribute them. Um, you can inject arbitrary AS paths, and it also supports ASN32 and, of course, IPv6, as we all do on all of our new services now, I'm sure. Um, it's also written with the BSD license, so you can alter it to suit your needs, whatever those needs are. Um, if you're going to use FlowScan or ASN32, you need the CVN head version. That, those, those features are quite new, so you can't download the bundle on the site. You have to do a CVN, uh, an SCVN. I think I've just invented a new version control system. SVN checkout. Uh, so, what is, what is FlowSpec? Essentially, it allows you to use BGP to distribute patterns that describe uh, traffic or prefixes or, or uh, anything that you might want to use to, ba to base filters upon. Um, how does it actually work? It introduces a new um, NLRI address family to the BGP protocol, um, and you uh, express an action against a prefix, and those um, rules can be built against prefixes and ports, individual protocols, ICMP types and codes, particular t TCP flags, packet length, DSCP, and whether the packet's fragmented or not fragmented, or the last fragment. So pretty much anything that you might want to build rules against, it's possible to express with, uh, with, with FlowSpec. What can you do when you identify a particular tra a piece of traffic that matches those rules? Well, you can limit the rate of the traffic, you can discard the traffic altogether, or you can redirect the traffic into an MPLS tunnel for particular engineering reasons. Um, but crucially, the, the, the killer app for this new, uh, new feature is that you can alter the behavior of traffic without actually logging onto your routers and making a change. You're distributing these behaviors 
with a simple protocol um, that your network is already running today. So what are the advantages? Why would you want to do it? It's very, very uh, quick to roll it out if you're already running BGP. Um, you, uh, it, it allows you to use the hardware filtering features in your routers much more conveniently and quickly. And it's built around a protocol that you guys already understand very well. Um, if you want to read more about the protocol before doing anything with it, then it's a new RFC, RFC 5575, that was only made formal last summer. And it has been implemented by Juniper for your routers, Arbor, as we saw earlier with, uh, with Neo, and the new BGP injector from Exa. Uh, why might you use Tomasy software, the Exa BGP software? Well, if you implement it, then these people inside your organizations may be happy. You're not can use it to stop or limit the effects of denial of service attacks. Um, your own abuse desks can react to abuse complaints by filtering particular traffic that matches um, complaints. And enterprises can enforce security policy. Um, the people in your organizations that are responsible maybe for the IWF filtering, if you do that, can use uh, FlowSpec to do that. And if you're particularly evil, there are creative ways of um, altering anyone else's network connection for your advantage. So, for example, the network engineers can suddenly start winning Counter-Strike games. <laughs> but I imagine that's not a very uh, high priority. Um, so typically with DOS mitigation, uh, the customers, customers may ask for a filter to be applied on their ports. But if you're um, just applying that at the customer edge, then the traffic's still got to traverse your backbone. It's not being dropped at the source. Whereas with FlowSpec, you can uh, drop it uh, at the entry point to your network in a single, in a single click. Um, the brutal, a, br a brutal filter allows the track to succeed, i.e. for service to be suspended. But with more finely grained controls, you can maintain service for your customers without disabling your customers' access altogether. Um, you can also use it to build rules that uh, limit the effects of more intelligent attack vectors, such as TCP SIM floods, uh, UDP fragments attacks. That's, uh, that's a good use for it. Uh, the, the traditional response just simply doesn't scale. If, if you're not have to log on and, and make a, a lot of config changes to your network in order to prevent an attack, that's slow to roll out and prone to human error. Um, if you use better tools to automate that, then you've got more time to do other things and uh, less, less risk of human error. So how can we combine this tool with your router configuration? Well, first of all, you can look at, if, if you look at Arbor, we've just seen a really complete and good presentation about how you can use Arbor, but this, is, this presentation explains how you can do it with the, the open source version. Um, you remember from the first example that we had a static block for a neighbor. You can define a flow that matches, in this case, a particular address and port, and then an action, which is to, to drop the traffic altogether. Um, that's, a, that's a really simple example. And if, uh, if there's a, a BGP peering with all of your core routers, by enabling this in the, in, on the uh, BGP injector, you've just rolled out that rule to all of your edge ports and all of your routers, so very, very rapidly. Um, so to put it all together, you, you, can, you identify attack vectors with NetFlow scripts and tools. Um, you automatically generate the configuration and filter specification. A SIG hub um, uh, merges the old config with the new config. It doesn't tear down the sessions, so it just uses announces and withdraws to send new prefixes and, and old, uh, remove old prefixes via the uh, flow spec, uh, uh, address family, and that's it. The future work for this particular tool, it would be nice if um, there was more automation with different open source NetFlow tools so that um, more NetFlow tools could export their data into the XABGP software. Um, it would be nice if more router vendors supported uh, flow, flow, flow spec as well. I'll put flow scan. And um, it, also, it might be interesting if uh, different providers want to share information with each other so that there can be an inter-provider uh, filter system. That's possibly one for the future.